Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, before we get into this video, please make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookah anonymous underscore. We're able to be a little more explicit, a little more uncensored, and share content freely without running the risk of having our channel terminated. So, once again, Make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookah anonymous underscore. We're almost at 100,000 subscribers. So if you like this video, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. Now let's get into what you guys came here to see. Now, before we get into the video, I know y'all probably like hookah. Where's the background music? But y'all got to bear with me as YouTube is trying out these new audio licenses and stuff that I don't know nothing about. And with the sounds that are supposed to be non copyrighted somehow they are still being claimed. So I'm working on getting background music from scratch to avoid the headache in the future. So we'll be back to normal real soon. But anyway, as of today, we got a new update in the trial for FBG Duck involving members of the O Block faction that are suspects along in his death. We've recently learned, or some of us, that Trenches News has been not only an informant, but what the Chicago Sun-Times and FBI would describe as a long-time government informant. They say he's been an informant for decades and accepted cash payments up to $25,000 in 15 installments and would sometimes give police information privately while telling the audience on his YouTube channel something totally different. They say that trenches will also sometimes go unresponsive and not communicate with law enforcement, which may have played a part in why they subpoenaed him to come testify and tell the courts what he told police. In FBG Duck's case, they say that Martel Wiley, aka Trenches News, will call law enforcement a day after FBG Duck passed away and offered information to help with the case, as Trenches News also helped identify certain members when he was shown surveillance footage taken from the day Duck would be fatally shot in the Gold Coast. Now today, we will learn that there's yet another cooperator that has been revealed who have been working with FBI since 2008. Team. Sheesh. Now, once again, like I said before, I think it went over a lot of people's heads when Mama Duck told y'all a long time ago that, quote, everybody's going to jail because they're all telling on each other. When she said that, nobody took heed. However, it's looking like she wasn't lying. And now we're starting to see informants come out of the woodworks, including people that we didn't even know had any type of affiliation with the case. Now here's the thing, we will all sit back at a point in time and wonder how in the world are these guys rapping about catching bodies and making videos, doing interviews, and putting things in their lyrics, but nobody is going to jail. But based on what we're learning as this trial gets underway, the feds were just letting them hang themselves more and more, and it's actually just deeper than the FBG duck incident that we are seeing. However, they're using this duck incident to further prove their point of why they hit these guys with the RICO on top of the evidence that they already have in the first place. Keep in mind that they said Trench's News was a cooperator for decades. One decade is 10 years, just to put that in perspective for y'all. Alright, so just imagine everything else that they know or who else have been cooperating and they're not even halfway through the trial. If y'all remember before this trial even started, I did a video when it came out saying that they were going to take it to trial and I said that it wouldn't be a good idea at all. For one, they're going against the feds who have almost a perfect conviction rate. And two, you're going to trial with them. If you've ever been through the court process, you know that they come out in trial with evidence that you never even knew they had. So you thought it was a good idea to go to trial because you thought you seen all the evidence that they had and thought they didn't have nothing on you. But word to the wise, the feds turn into magicians whenever trials start and suddenly it's all type of evidence, informants, surveillance, and the whole nine yards coming out of nowhere, and by that time, it's way too late for you to back out. But anyway, as of today, an O Block member claims he lied to FBI to avoid testifying to FBG Duck's trial. This O Block member name is David Sloan, aka Little Dave. Little Dave explains that he was first approached by FBI while he was being held in Cook County Jail back in May of 2018. When they approached him, they would question Little Dave about O Block's leadership and what's the structure like 
and Lil Dave will provide them with a list of names. That goes to show that the Fed's been plotting on O Block and making a move since 2018 and even probably before. Now, Lil Dave would also explain that two months after Duck passed away, that's when the Feds would come calling him again for more information in October of 2020, and Lil Dave wouldn't agree to cooperate with the investigation until February of 2021 while he himself was incarcerated. Now, everything was going good, but they say after Dave was released from jail, he stopped responding almost as if he was just cooperating as a means of just getting out of jail. This would lead the feds to cut ties with Lil Dave and his cooperation. On top of the parole violation, Lil Dave would receive for a gun charge he had caught. Time would go by, and as of January of 2022, feds would bring back the cooperation deal with Lil Dave, but this time, they would offer him $21,515 for his role. Lil Dave admitted to receiving about $5,000 in a single cash payment just for identifying defendants in surveillance footage from the Parkway Gardens apartment complex, aka Oblock. Some of the information Lil Dave would give to the feds aside from identifying suspects, he would admit that Oblock was like a higher archical set, which means that it was ran like the mob or something like that with order, where they would hold meetings with quote unquote killers and drug dealers, as he said they would pass out guns, allegedly and drugs and discuss shootings that would take place out of retaliation. Let's keep in mind that he's also not the first cooperator that spoke on these meetings that allegedly take place in O Block. Now here's where the lion part would take place. When police came to Lil Dave's house on October 13th, it's because he stopped responding to them after texting his handler that his brother was shot and killed during a confrontation at a house party and O Block members was behind his death. He would say, quote, My brother got killed. I'm in the hospital with my family. After that text on October 5th, he stopped cooperating. Authorities would later find out that his brother was killed in 2019 over something totally different than what Lil Dave had told them. Up until a day ago, Lil Dave would admit that he lied to a jury and told him he only did it because he feared that him and his family would be targeted for his snitching. Attorney Gregory Mitchell would suggest that Lil Dave already knew what he was doing and what he was up against before he did what he did, basically saying that that's not a good excuse at all. While he was on a stand during cross-examination, he was shown transcripts of him saying previously that Oblock had no structure and nobody gave orders, despite him saying afterwards that it is ran in a hierarchical manner. So to nip it all in the bud, Assistant U.S. Attorney Jason Julian would ask him straight up, is there a leadership structure in Oblock? And Lil Dave simply would reply, yes. Now, I don't know if y'all seeing what I'm seeing, but the feds are definitely working up to something or someone, right? They don't care about Little Dave's and the, the other small fries. They want the big fish, which is usually what a Rico is set out to do. And by the looks of it, they're just gathering all the data and details they need from the small fries in order to get to who or what they really actually want. And they playing dirty. <laughs> they playing real dangerous. They're offering these kids money. And not just any money, not a thousand dollars, not a five hundred, twenty thousand dollars and more, right? Knowing that these guys are willing to do something to their own mama for that type of money. So this is why you see all these cooperators coming out because based on what we've learned from trenches and this guy, they're handing out cash payments of up to twenty thousand dollars to whoever cooperates with some good information. And pay attention to the questions they're asking and the points that they're trying to make. They are stressing to prove that O Block is ran by a certain leadership, right? It has structure. And without saying any names, when you think of O Block and who these guys will be ran by, who's the first person that comes to mind? Okay, I'm going to just leave it at that. And on the flip side of that, if he's agreeing that there is, in fact, leadership, then the next question would be, well, who's the leader? Right? Now, in Bezu's typical subliminal form, he would post a bunch of rats in his Instagram story. I don't know if it had anything to do with the information that just came out as of today. So I guess we'll just call it a coincidence for now. So y'all pay attention to what's going on, man. It's a lot of things that's starting to unravel. And right now we're just witnessing the ground level work that's taking place. It's definitely going to be more that's going down. It's definitely going to be more that's going to be revealed. And it's probably going to be real shocking. So y'all stay tuned as we continue to update y'all on what's going on. Let me know what y'all think about this in the comments. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And remember, as long as you keep on watching, 
I'm going to keep on dropping. I'm out.